brothers welcome back to dummy nation today we're gonna to be playing as one of the most challenging nations i have played in quite some time which is Liechtenstein. now Liechtenstein is labeled an expert start i would put it as a legendary start because it has such a hard starting location it is landlocked in between switzerland and austria now the strategy to win as Liechtenstein is first you take out switzerland why do you take out switzerland well switzerland is the only country in this neck of the woods that is not part of the eu everyone else is austria absolutely now you may be thinking switzerland is also landlocked that doesn't help your problems exactly that's the easy part is taking out switzerland once you take out switzerland then you have the giant ginormous task of taking out germany france or italy who are all part of the eu those are the only three realistic targets that you can get now, the problem with this is that all of EU will come to the defense of Germany, France, or Italy. So we need to, to get a seed where one of these guys falls in a way that we can get access to the ocean, that we can then begin our expansion. So with that being said, we start off as a democracy. We're going to flip to exploitation all the way. Get that cheeky little 1.11.33 buff to recruiting troops. We do have some troops to start off with. Excuse me, that is Italy. I have to click on myself, which is so small we have no troops to start off with 156 best gdp military power is zero so let's recruit some troops we're going to get three units or two units of commandos then we're going to get a unit of we're going to get about 2000 actually we'll get a full unit of rocket artillery a thousand tanks and then gunner spam All right, so that's all of our gunners and military. We're going to invest three points into combat training. And then two points into reactive armor. Oh, frick, I did that wrong. It's okay. We'll do another point into reactive armor. What I would like to do is get a point into moral high ground or international aid, which will ease the negative spread effect. And if we don't get it on this round, that's going to be our strategy going forward. Now our budget, we're going to bring down social spending pretty heavily. Bring up military a slight bit. Liquidity go up. And then we just kind of hope and pray that number one, Switzerland goes down. And then number two, Germany, France, or Italy also goes down. Those are the conditions of our win rate. Let's see if we get a run. Rage quits coming, could be. I got an eye. a little bit budget 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 friend 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 right. friendship secured okay switzerland still has their army no one's attacked them yet i mean it's kind of nice it gives us time to build up our military but we do need some action i think italy's like going to be the easier way out to be honest with you germany's really tough like the the parameters for us to get germany are pretty ridiculous that's italy attacking i think switzerland yes slow this down now because they went up here it blocks us from grabbing a lot of land but italy could actually I don't know they might retreat out of this switzerland might chase them out too oh hold on they're down to a heavy degree let's fight them ourselves now okay switzerland's been defeated we got all of switzerland the easiest part of this challenge is now completed italy do be fighting but they took zero losses in that that's a, that's unfortunate if they go down south we could have a chance of pushing out ourselves i don't think germany's gonna be active in this one and france is out of the question what's our diplomacy like syria likes us ethiopia likes us Oh, we need one of these European powers to like us. Budget is in heavy decline. Anyway, we could get a positive budget here. No, our exchange rate is just so bad. 
doesn't matter what we do. Switzerland's population is low. The base maintenance cost of 40% is not going to make it positive growth easy. Yeah, because our military is costing so much that basically we're just going to lose money until either we invade somebody else or the game ends. We don't have a ton of options. I'm just going to go for it. Try something different. Now we're actually making money. Everyone in Europe hates us. But at least we got something. It gives us a shot. Will that work? But at what cost? I mean, honestly, I'm just trying something new. Like everything's gone so bad for us up to this point. I'm just trying something new. That didn't hurt us too much. Only Germany really hates us. Germany, Slovakia, Spain, and the UK. If we invade Slovenia, that gives us a way out. They do have a lot of tanks. I don't know. Maybe we slow roll this because we're still losing budget. Bring down liquidity a little bit. Bring down social. Get us in the plus category. Research can go away. We just need rockets. I'm surprised more NATO doesn't hate you. Well, that's because we invested two levels into international aid, which eases the negative spread effect. So if we, as long as we do things quickly, we're fine. So my new game plan is to push out through Slovenia. Now, no one's going to declare war on Slovenia the whole game. So when we do this, we need to do it with overwhelming forces. So I'm still going to try it. Now, you're still mad at me. You want a million for a peace treaty. So we have to go to their land. We can't do the same strategy we do with Austria because Austria was neutral to us. So we can't just line up in their territory. But we can line up on this border. Okay. Pause the game. Give an attack order. This is a real hell, ma hell Mary, by the way. Oh, we got it. Send everybody home. We're fine. Don't walk through Germany. We're fine. More people declared war on us. But now we have an away out through the Mediterranean. All is good in the world. Except for the fact that most people don't like us now. Russia and China still like us, though. So that is good. And now we can pick on weaker people in the Mediterranean. We have 7 million. You have 3. Is there anyone we could really take out? No, most of the good targets are gone. Malta, Spain's got it. Monaco, Montenegro's got it. So that one's completely out. Tunisia is a democracy, so we don't want to fight them. You're fascist, so that'd be really good. How's your diplomacy? You have friends, but we are making positive income, which is exciting. Not a lot, but still positive. Our GDP per capita is up to 16th. Ugh, we were at 30. Your power is mostly tanks. I would still like more commandos and everything, but we'll see if that's possible. Our exchange rate again being so bad means our money's less valuable. Okay, military has gone down. I don't know what they're doing, but let's get over there. Hold on. Let's make sure we don't go through anyone. We risk it. Okay. Who's declaring war on us? A lot of people. Okay. Can we now run home? You're fine. You hate this, but we can buy you off. Egypt, we can buy you off. Iraq, we can buy you off. So Kuwait, UAE, Somalia, Lebanon, Kuwait, can't afford. UAE, can't afford. Somalia, can't afford. Okay, who else? I think that's fine. Germany's coming over. Please don't take Morocco from me. I desperately need it, sir. How much did that hurt us? Four million. Germany's like looming over here. Okay, Lebanon. Peace treaty with you. Germany, please. Okay, good. We're now making so much money though. Look at us go. 27th best. GDP. GDP per capita is 41. We can actually probably start affording things again. The future is ours, ladies and gentlemen. As long as we still have our friendships. We do. We do. Okay. Things are kind of going well for us. Who are you? Kuwait. You wanted 5 million? How much do you have? Not that much. We'll fight it. Now what we really want is a land border with China. Germany's coming back. They came out this way beforehand. So we do need to be cautious about that. There they are. Run. And Morocco's ours. Oh, very scary. All right. Now, is there anyone really weak next to China? Is this the DRC? That's Russia. That's the DRC. We can invade the DRC, but they're like just as strong as us at this point. We're kind of looking for somebody who has zero troops. Dude, I wish I could get involved in Mexico, but being angry with uh, Germany says means no. Let's just run over here. Just stay away from them. They're bad influence. That's Japan. That's Ecuador. Too strong. I think we just bite the bullet and build troops. I'm just afraid of angering more of the EU because we're still like here. I want like a weakened target that has no troops that I could get some land border with. I think North Korea. No, we could get North Korea though. They're only friends with Belgium. That would give us a land border with China, which would bring up our exchange rate. Okay, hold on. I need these freaking units because they're commandos. And if we fight rebels in North Korea, we're going to want more of these guys. Okay, we're just going to take a really long route because we cannot afford to wa accidentally walk through someone's territory. Corrugate's allied to China? Yes, it is. What's our alliance to China? We're not allied to China. What? We are. They just don't like us. Oh, not that. I'm going to risk it regardless because that will give us access to Russia and China which is our two biggest trading partners. I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. We don't have a lot to lose here. Italy's declared war on us. That's a surprise. China's cool with it. And now exchange rates up to 65%. Let's freaking go.
Italy could take your territory. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it because they're going to want too much. Yeah, 28 million. Okay, I would like my troops over by Morocco because ultimately I don't care if I lose the North Korea stuff. And I'm that's the closest one I have to allies. So that's the most likely to be defended. But I want my troops over here so that when I get new troops, I can continue to keep linking them up. Doesn't your capital move to the best economic zone? Yeah, so basically if I lost my capital here, assuming I lost all this, my new capital will be in Morocco. But let's talk about how well we're doing, boys. We're the 27th best GDP. That's very big for us. Population GDP per capita, as good as it's going to get for right now. We we thank our lucky stars we're making money. Moving the capital right now might help in the long term. It would lose us so much money. It would actually probably be super incredibly detrimental. Because like we lose it here. Italy still has like a nice border with us. So basically, if Italy attacks us, we're going to lose all of this, guaranteed. And we'll probably be stuck with just this. Regardless, if there's a fight, we're going to run away. You know, Germany left Mexico. I think it's worth jumping in and grabbing Mexico. Hold on. It's right there, you big dummy. Go here. Silly Austin. Okay. We want these commandos. Hold up. Wait a minute. Zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. Draw the, the littlest, narrowest path we have to avoid a confrontation with our angry, 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 angry neighbors. Hopefully not to run into any enemies here in the Mediterranean. Okay. Let's link up on this side. Okay, Mexico. This is our time, baby. Mexico's gonna have a lot of rebels, but we have 154,000. Come on. Germany, why are you here now? Stick up to the north. They're not invading, they're just holding that land. Stick up to the north. By the way, did Mexico have allies? Um, Yeah, Chile, Vatican City has either declared war on me. No, just stay away from that German army because it will aggro on us. You need tanks to keep infantry around. I mean, we, like, we got as much as we can get. I agree with you. And I think after we get Mexico, we can start building up a legitimate army. I'm so afraid of getting in range of Germany. Yes, 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 yes. Don't go near Germany. Germany's scary and bad. Okay. How are the economic zones? There's one really good one right there. And I think that's Mexico City, but it's too close to Germany. And I think we're too weak to continue. So I do think we need to take a break. We are currently the 18th best GDP. So we can definitely afford a little bit of time to build up. Germany's back on the war path. I think we'll be fine over here. We do need to shut down that rebel though. And I agree with Sonaku. We definitely need a lot more tanks. Exchange rate 60%. United States, do you want to be friends by any chance? 4 million. Germany, could we peace out? No, 42 million. Brother. <laughs> Ew, brother, what is that? The USA is low enough to consider saving for? I mean, yeah, but it's not that big of a concern because I'd rather get a military. I think I'm a target right now. Here, I'm scared. Go right, right there. Okay, I think this army is good enough to start taking more of Mexico. Not near Germany, unfortunately. The perfect run? No, I I probably will be like last on the leaderboard of people who completed it because most people get Germany or Italy, which then puts you in like the top 10 economics. Like we're in the year 2087. I'm still out. I'm, I'm, I'm 18th. We should also invest in Liberator at this point. I think that's just out of the range of Germany. Okay, good enough. Good enough. All right, we have a million. I would really like more commandos. How are our alliances holding up? They are in there. Okay. What are we currently? 15th best? We'll take it, brother. New Zealand doesn't have troops. It's just friends with the Philippines. Hello, new best friend. No world record on this one. I knew I, if I, as soon as I didn't get Germany or Italy, that I wasn't going to get the world record. I'm just happy to be like competitive right now. Did you get Mexico City? I don't think I did. I think Germany grabbed it. Yeah, Germany grabbed it. I think this is actually worth buying because I don't, I can't take this. I don't want to lose land. Well, they're not taking my land. So maybe it's not worth it right now. They are taking my land. Okay, peace treaty with you. I mean, don't look now, but I actually have a military to a degree. New Zealand's 30th, but it's free, which is the thing I like the most. Philippines has declared war on us. Cheapest peace treaty possible. Great. The United Kingdom doesn't have troops. It's not possible, right? It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Stop thinking about it. We can't take the United Kingdom. I mean, that is so tempting, right? It's not possible. We don't have enough gunners. And maybe if they stay like this for a prolonged period of time, the P we'd have to buy the peace treaty first, I think. Tempting for sure. Possibility is a different story. I agree with you. The DRC, I think, is a better target. They're friends with the United Kingdom, but the United Kingdom can't do anything, which is probably the only reason they've existed this long. I think the DRC is the better and safer route because they don't have a great GDP, but they have a very high population and very good GDP per capita. So I think that needs to be our target. I wish I could save because I would try it, but I don't think it's worth it right now. And we definitely need more tanks and rockets before we do this. Okay. This army's ready. If the UK stays like that for a little bit, we'll talk, but I doubt they will. Yeah, see, they've already recruited 3K tanks. So by the time we got up there, we would have just suicided into 3K tanks. Now, the question is, the UK's got 3K tanks. Do you think they'll send them down? 
to fight me when I fight the Congo. And they're actually not friends with him. It's just South Africa. Okay, good. Let's bring everybody right here. Let's get ready for war. Okay, South Africa hasn't declared war on us. We're not going to split. We'll take this slow. Okay, now we have the full levels of reactive armor and combat training. So we can start focusing on our economy here a little bit. We beat down the, the DRC's army. So we're taking them. Currently 14th best GDP so far. GDP per capita is high, but that should go in a good direction, aka up um, in numbers with taking the DRC. Okay, I think we're safe to do this. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Yeah, we can still get Uganda and Rwanda, maybe even Kenya. Yeah, we can get Kenya too. This opens up a lot for us. There's a bit of Zambia. Yeah, there's Zambia. There's Tanzania. There's a lot of little scraps left over that we can grab. New Zealand's here. Oh, New Zealand. Hey, that's us. Yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit. We're going to clean. We're going to be Operation Cleanup Crew. Uganda is incredibly strong, though. <laughs> that is a real shocker. Holy cow. 15 million. I've never seen Uganda that strong. No wonder they're still around. No kidding, right? Where is it, though? They're taking Rwanda away from us, which is a shame. Canada. Canada. Why are we? F Whoa, Canada. 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 That's Mexico gone. There's nothing we can do. What happened to my alliances? No, China. OK, China's still friend. China, you 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 stop. Okay, they took a little bit. They didn't take everything. All's not lost. Canada didn't, didn't take the most valuable stuff. Yeah, they left us the most valuable stuff. I mean, that city sucks, but having this region is still good. Again, we need alerts for when people stopping allies like leave us. There needs to be a big alert. Okay, I think we continue on and grab New Zealand's lands. Is this New Zealand too? No, it's Belgium. That is New Zealand. Okay, good. The Philippines has declared war on us. Oh, I forgot about you. You're cheap though. Friend, friend, yes. 500,000 gets us 80k recruits. Am I a joke to you? What's our GDP per capita? 43. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, New Zealand's defeated. We are now the 51st GDP per capita. How expensive are troops now? Still pretty expensive, not gonna lie. But we're finally in a spot I think we can, you know, hang out for a minute. Recruit troops. Let's go hang out in our pseudo capital of Madagascar. You know what? No, we're hanging out here. No, we should go to Madagascar. The reason I didn't want to go to Madagascar, if we're going to get attacked by a European power, it would probably be in Madagascar, which I don't want to lose my troops to. I want to be able to run away. There's free Zambia. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we should probably finish up Zambia and stuff, but let's get these more units of commandos out first and then link up with all these guys. Russia still exists, which is great for us in this game because they're our friend. But if they fell, I wouldn't cry a tear because I would just be grabbing territory. Okay, troops are done. Billy, do you want to be friends now? You, brother. That's a lot of money, brother. Oh, we can get a line street with the United States. Bada bing, bada boom. Exchange rate up to 82%. We're in this now. We're in this. We have so much money, brother. Hey, okay, let's grab that free territory. Just want to check, make sure I didn't have troops hanging out up there. Okay, we're in the money. Let's start looking for a big but weak target. Japan. Uh, we would need tanks and rockets. Well, that's definitely in the realm of possibility. And probably some more gunners. Now, what's your diplomacy like? South Korea and Romania. South Korea would be a pain in the butt, but possible. And you know what I would actually like to invest in? A level of moral high ground. Eh, I think self-sufficient economy would be better. All right, 15 million. Brothers, there. Japan has 8 million. We have, a, they have 1.82K tanks. We have 2,000 rockets. I think that's the best matchup we could get right now. Let's go for greed. Let's go for money. Let's make sure we're still friends. Friend, friend, yes. Okay, military is at 2%. It's pretty good. I think we fight this. Okay, Japan is dead. Romania has declared war on us. I don't think there's a good shot that we can get them to not be at war with us. South Korea, that's the one that matters. 2,000, 2 million, but they only have 6 million of their own. They're not gonna send everybody at once. We have 9 million. And just with this little bit of territory, we've jumped into the top 10. So this is all golden for us right now. Okay, there's Romania. How much they send? It hurts, but it's worth. You guys see how Taiwan's falling? Let's keep an eye on that. Wait, did someone just declare war on me? No, let's finish up Japan. But Taiwan's definitely on the table. Taiwan's 100% on the table. Taiwan's off the table. They have too many friends. We continue. We are now at the sixth best GDP. Romania is still on our tail right now, but we've almost finished with China. Or excuse me, Japan. Taiwan is a very tempting target. They only have a thousand tanks left. Oh, Japan, you got Mexico too. That's really big for us. Yeah, I'm glad we stuck with Japan, uh, Japan for a little bit. And we're actually able to start building up a legitimate army now over here at our capital. Look at that. Boom, 10 million firepower right there. Just an infantry. Hey, this army is ready. Let's go. And it's bigger than the army we invaded with. Let's just do our careful dance, bringing it out. You know, I would love to be friends with you, Croatia. You don't have any troops. You still want 4 million, you greedy girl. 
has the UK recovered. Peace tree with him is pretty cheap though. Let's get that up there. Do you want to be friends now? No, all right, not quite. Okay, friend, friend, friend. Good. Iran's going down. We're missing out on that. So is Sudan. We could definitely jump on Sudan. But let's just finish up Japan for now. We do have 10 points. We can put some points in the self-sufficient economy. That feels really good. Things are looking up, boys. Okay, let's rush over, see if we can get any of Sudan for ourselves. I would love to fight Saudi Arabia. Oh, Saudi Arabia, dude. Let's get this little chunk of Sudan and get ready to fight Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Egypt's declared war on us. That's fine. Egypt's really weak, too. This is our time. Let's go fight Egypt first. Get Cairo. Because this will be a nice connector for us to be able to get in and out of the Mediterranean a little bit easier. Okay, friend, friend, friend. Still exist. Still all good friends here. More tanks. Oh, gosh. 2,000 tanks, brothers. Okay, this army's ready. Bring it out. Bring it out. We're almost done with Egypt, which means we need to jump on Saudi Arabia right now. We actually have two armies to do this with. What an amazing feeling this is. India's declared war on us. Hey, let's talk about that. <laughs> Buddy, Indonesia's declared war on us. Don't, thank you. Check allies again. Yeah, friend, friend, friend. We're good. Always a good habit to have. Check friend. No, this is literally what I was wanting the most. Get out of here, USA. Like, don't get me wrong. I want the money up here, but I want the, the population and low GDP down here. Thank goodness they left. Okay, we have five points. We can get smart taxation. Good. We have another army ready to rumble. We're actually building a military now. What a sweet day this is. And Saudi Arabia has been defeated. Great. Let's gather everyone. We got 41 million now. We're big boys. Um, maybe Iraq. Yeah, Iraq's great. They don't have any troops. All their allies are dead. So let's jump on them. I, th I think pretty sure, unless they're friends with somebody crazy. No, no, all their allies are dead. They are friends with South Korea, which I don't care about. We'll definitely be able to finish this before they come over. And Jordan, I don't think has anybody. I mean, they're friends with Italy. Let's just finish up Iraq over here. Italy already like hates us. Hey, by the way, any chance of a peace treaty? <gasps> yeah, let's go. Okay, Italy's friends with us now. We attack Jordan. Any chance of an alliance, do you think? LOL, get wrecked. Okay, I got put in my place. Okay, they are done. More people got hostile to us, but there was no way they were going to get over here in time. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Third best GDP, fourth best military power, 14th GDP per capita is pretty high. Love to lower that, but we'll figure that out here. I'll just look for a target. Yeah, I think we have to gear up for a war with India at this point. India or Brazil? I don't know. I think we take this moment to just build up and be patient. But I think the best thing we could do for ourselves is fight India or Indonesia. Indonesia would be good. They're very weak. It's just tanks, which our army is slightly lacking in, to be honest with you. New army ready. Carefully still bring them out. Now let's start talking about next moves. India is a dream. We would love to get India. They're a little strong. Taiwan, though, is pretty weak. We could grab them. And then Indonesia is also pretty weak. So I think those are our, kind of our best targets for right now. So let's gather our 71 million. Keep recruiting and get ready for this next battle. But mostly the war with Indonesia is what's on the table. How much military does Tunisia have? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't care about Tunisia. They don't bring much to the table. They have pretty bad everything. And they're a democracy, which makes them harder to fight down. Now, I'm pretty confident I can take out Taiwan before anyone else comes over here, so I'm not going to worry too much about their alliances. We haven't peaced out with his Brazil, but we're done, right? No, we still got more? Oh, you grabbed some of South Africa, brother. Now, what do you have? You're strong. I do not want to fight you. Alliance, alliance, alliance. Yes, we still have our alliances. You are coming over to fight, though. Netherlands, brother. Go away. Get another level of smart taxation out there while we're at it. I actually think we are. Oh, that's up to 3 million now. Because Taiwan's got some bit over here that Brazil might come to defend. I don't really want to get engaged with the war with them. Oh, there they are. 11 million now. I guess we just have to fight them. We might be able to peace out with Taiwan. They want 29 million. All right, let's just go fight them. Brazil's over there. They're going to have to play a game of catch up. Oh, they're invading us. Freaking monsters. But Taiwan's off the table, so we should not be fighting anymore. So go home. Eh, go to Morocco, not home. Oh, we did lose our alliance with China. Want that back. We just need India to do something stupid. You know what? This could be a really good opportunity to take out Italy. Declare war. Italy. Everyone go home. Oh, Italy's got this over here. Okay, so that didn't matter that much. But hey, now we have an easy way out. That's exciting. Yeah, easy way out of the capital. Worth, in my opinion, just for that reason alone. Now we do have to wait for all these borders to settle before we can move out again. And it did cost us uh, about 20 million. USA is fighting Indonesia. I want to do that. Alliances. We lost the alliance with uh, United States. Can't get that one back. China we lost. 
Can't get that one back. Russia, we lost. Can't get that one back. Okay, well, we need to be friends with chi uh, China. You know what I say? If everyone hates us this much, it's fascism time, baby. United States declared war on us. Hmm. They're invading us. Hmm. They're also fighting India, though. Where are they invading us at? Oh, they're taking that stuff down there. Italy's invading. We can stop that. Let the United States take what they want. They'll eventually be nice to us again. India's in a great spot to invade. For us to invade, that is. They're invading hard, brother. They're not that strong. Forget the United... Forget... It uh freaking india the united states might be the play they are friends with a number of people germany i think we went fascist too early boys i think we go communism losing cairo sucks but we're gonna have to deal with it china should we should be able to bring this price down yeah it's going down pretty significantly so we should be able to get some alliances back i think we went fascism a little bit too early yeah we're able to peace out with germany that stops the bleeding there the united states is really weak that needs to be our focus What's your exchange rate? 67, so not great, which is why I want this alliance with China back. I can get an alliance with India, that'll help. Russia, you're incredibly expensive. China might be worth it here shortly though. Here, let's grab everybody, just take them home. Yeah, United States and China's fighting, so we can definitely, they want, they're want they excited about a peace treaty now, let's buy that. They're at 29, you're at 165. Wow, China's big. The United States does have all those allies, so it's worth us hanging out for a minute. India's really weak though. Let's gather up our troops and get ready to fight India. That'll be a game changer for us. Stack from this side. Hey, good friend India. Just walking through your territory. Hope you don't mind going somewhere else. Just kidding. That's where we gone, right? Yeah. We'll try and bully China out of this area because this is the area we really want. We'll just constantly be switchbacking with two units. Hopscotching, if you will. Trying to just keep moving. Leapfrogging is the best term. <laughs> Leapfrogging our troops over each other to try and just keep pushing. Okay, China's walking away. Good. And meanwhile, we're just recruiting a boatload of these guys of uh, foot soldiers for right now. Okay, China, 90 million. United States, 15 million. I think we need to plan for the United States. I think that needs to be our future goal. But let's get India done first, because this is going to really help us out in terms of lowering our GDP per capita. We were like 15th. I mean, we're 10th now. Oh, brother. Uh, hopefully this goes down a little bit. Although there's probably not that many countries left in the game at this point. Okay, United Kingdom's over here. Hold on. Okay, we have to fight them. You don't have that many troops to begin with, though. You allied to Germany is the only one I actually care about. There, this will be easier. No, Germany hates you. Oh, good. Then we can fight down in England pretty easily. Now, we did absolutely deplete our army. Each one of these started out with 15, uh, 15 million. That one's 13. That one's five. That one's six. And this one's 14. So we did take a pretty substantial loss fighting India, but I do think it was worth it in the long run. Okay, India's defeated. Great. Send everybody home. We are down to 60 million, so we're not a big powerhouse. And we don't have too many tanks or rockets because fascism really backfired on us. What we do What we do have is a lot of infantry. So I think we stay fascism, build up our infantry for a minute, don't do anything drastic, and then sp switch back to fascism. It looks like an easy win at this point. I mean, at this point, potentially, but you still got Russia, 40 million, China, 100 million, United States is down to 27 million, but they've got a lot of friends. Oh, they don't have, well, let's see, any big friends? Potentially, potentially. They're not friends with, they're friends with Turkey is the biggest one. Let's get this last unit, get a unit of tanks, and I think we can go fight the United States down. I'd love 3,000 more tanks, please. Okay, army's ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Bird army, assemble, fight United States. And we'll try and peace out with as many big people as we can. Save up a little bit of money for that. United States out of troops, Canada's here. It's expensive for Canada. Turkey's one that I'm like concerned with, that's cheap. Who else are your friends? Mr. United States. Let's see. Spain could be a problem. Spain's going to be a problem. Norway, North Macedonia. Cheap enough. Brazil's invaded us. No. Okay. That's going to be expensive. It's going to be a problem. We can't get a level of self-sufficient economy, so that will help. China's fighting Brazil. That gets one off our backs. This army's melting. Just hang out here for a minute. I would love to keep fighting the United States. I don't think it's possible. I think we got to do this. We desperately need tanks and rockets. You're still out of to China? Yeah, that's why I felt comfortable enough to do this. Is if you have an alliance with someone and you turn fascist, it's easier to keep them. It's still hard to keep them, but it's easier to keep them than if they were neutral to you. Because they're if they're neutral to you, basically just become mortal enemies. Okay, Germany was our... Oh, Germany's invading us, you friggin' mongrel. I'm just gonna peace out with the United States for now. Did I not just pay you 22 million to peace out and you immediately attack me, you friggin' monster? Hold on, BB, BRB, United States. I think we let the United States take this. That's fine. I don't care about any of this. Japan, though, I'm mad you still exist. 
and that you're taking my Morocco. Okay, now I feel pretty comfortable with this army. Let's start recruiting another one. How's the United States built back up? Pretty strong. Germany's also kind of strong. You know what? Let's bait out a lot of people by fighting down the United Kingdom. Just fight there, brother. Okay, you just walk through their territory. Fine, whatever. Don't care. Yeah, let's fight down all, everyone over here in Europe first. China's declared war on us. Can get that back. Good. At least peace treaty. Russia's declared war on us. That one's going to be tough. And the United States is invading us. That's fine. We're almost done with uh, good buddy freaking England. Is England done? Yes, they're defeated. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. What's the United States have mostly? Tanks. Okay, well, we have the rockets to counter. France, we're still buddies. Good enough buddies, that is. Oh, buddy. <laughs> let's get another unit of tanks. Let's wait for these guys to get done. Another unit of tanks and rockets. And then let's go fight down the United States. We should have weakened most of their allies because most of the allies of the United Kingdom were also allied to the United States, which is why we did that. France is a really easy target though. Yeah, Germany chased down all their troops. How weak is Germany now? They still are decently strong. Most of their troops are, most of their people are wrapped up in foot soldiers though. Does France have any overseas territories? They have French Guyana. I'm not going to worry about. Go home. Okay. Now we invade Germany. All the pain you've caused me this run will end here. Turkey, we were able to buy you off earlier. We can buy you off again. Excellent. All right. And that's our Egyptians land back. Now they still have some of Mexico, Cuba, everywhere. I think it's worth fighting down the United States at this point though. I don't think we want to let them get too strong. So let's go home. We need more rockets. We need more tanks. And then we'll be ready to rumble. You know what? I'm going to take down their Mexico holdings first. Germany's Mexico holdings. They're taking mine. And there's nothing more than I hate than someone taking my territory. Okay. Good enough. Let's gather everyone. Bring them here. Go back to fighting down the United States. 20. It's going to be expensive. Let's just do it. Let's just not think about it. I'm going to split it once. But if the USA brings their army over, I'm going to really quickly consolidate again. Yeah. The United States is invading somewhere. I don't know where. But they're invading us somewhere. Brazil's a real pain in the butt. I would love to peace out with them. Thank God, get out of here. You got China to worry about. What's the United States down to? They still have 18 million. We'll split again with the assumption that if they do bring a big army over, we're just going to bring everyone together really quickly. And we have a new army ready, which has a nice, easy way out. So we'll bring them over to fight as well and start revamping another one. Oh, we don't have the money. Oh, things have gotten really expensive. Ooh, China's ahead of us. They're at 80%. We're going to have to fight them, which is unfortunate because they're allied to Russia. Yep, they're allied to Russia and Japan. Oof, that's going to be a tough, tough battle here. I mean, they'll probably turn on each other at some point. So I think we just keep the focus on the United States for right now. But we have to keep that in mind that we're going to have to do something serious against the United States here or against China. That's all we have. Let's take Toronto. China's about to win it. All right, here's what we're going to do. Send everybody home. Get ready for the war with China. Everything else is on hold. I'm not going to come this far to lose to China. Not leave this for China, but let's grab all this stuff. China's invaded us. Peace treaty. We're not ready for a war with them yet. All right, we got to do it. They're at 93%. Gather everyone. It's going to be real tough, but we're going to have to fight China down. Look, Russia's, Russia's hostile to them now. We don't have time to wait. Just go, just go, just go. Oh man, just fight them down there. Oh, they're still growing. They're going down. Okay. We. I think we might have barely stopped it. They still have 60. How much do we have? 90 okay yes keep engaging me it's a race for their valuable land we're bringing them down they were at 96 they're at 95 now they still have 46 million firepower 30 now no 49 still 93 okay i think we saved it i think we just barely saved it uganda i desperately need you to, to fart off not for 41 million okay ignore it okay this army's ready go into china over here they're at 91 now okay this is working china's invading us but for less valuable land than we're taking away from them they're like, fart. everyone's farting around here for Africa land, which is fine by me. There's the big army. Okay, they're down to 13. Let's combine these two and rebalance. Here comes another army. There's another one. They're down to 10. Okay, we can split again. Okay, still bringing them down. Still at a threat level to win the game, but that's another army out of the way. Russia's fighting them down too. Excellent. Okay, that was the break we needed. Splinter, not yet. They still have 15 million. They're down to four, seven, nine. No, I think we got to keep those groups together. Okay, this group's ready. Let's fight you and split and go get in turkey land i've never had a game come so close to absolute failure than this one i think we're starting to pull it back yeah we're at 91 ourselves now's the time where we can start to win how much army do you have nine million still united states is still fighting us down somewhere breaking a brother uganda still has what a million troops left okay brazil's invading us brother it's not the time russia's invading us yeah peace treaty with them totally worth that's huge 
boys if we get down here we'll have a little bit more valuable land i think 99 come on splinter splinter china's out troops completely everyone splinter everyone splinter splinter my boys get us that win get us this long deserved Liechtenstein win long deserved victory Liechtenstein impossible start let me tell you we did it in the hardest way at every step every step this was hard we weren't one of the lucky few who just waltzed into germany and got free germany or waltzed into italy and got free italy no we fought every step of the way oh my gosh if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you made it this far you by law have to give it a like respect the amount of time that i put into this please put value into it <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it this far in the video like i said made it this far give it a like if you're new around here subscribe i put videos out every day but boys that's been Liechtenstein. hope you had fun if you have a country recommendation you would like me to play as next put in the comments down below just know i'm deleting any comment that says andorra i'm, I'm not doing that one but for now boys thanks so much i'll see y'all in the next one also let's check our leaderboard where's Liechtenstein? my brain hurts i was so focusing at the end give me a, a freaking search bar my guy down at the bottom there it is it's ninth best top 10 happy with it lord beer me strength all right boys hope you had fun i'll see everybody tomorrow